Frank, because you, so, you were so nice to come here for me, I think we're going to show you a real great film. It's the Joe Lewis fight, and uh, it was my big moment, the, the fight that got me a chance to fight for the title, the Joe Lewis fight, Madison Square Garden. Mm, you won that one. Uh, this one. <laughs> <laughs> you never lost one, did you? No, I didn't, Frank. I won 49 and uh, was lucky enough to retire after winning 49 fights. And a boy, I won the war single-handed for some movie studios. You know, I've been in as, almost as many battles as you. Don't I know? Of course, it. I didn't lose any, but of course, I had the studio behind me, the cameramen, the directors. Nobody could hit me because, see, if I get hit, I'm a character man. And we can't afford that, as you know. I've seen you in some good <laughs> fights, though. Uh, eh? Oh, I'm a, I'm a whiz when I have protection. <laughs> Tell me, uh, you've seen movie fights. What do you think of them? I enjoy them so much, uh, Frank. Sometimes I... <clears throat> I get a big kick out of it, and, and other times I'm, I'm very much impressed. Uh, there are some, some of them cowboys, for instance, really look good throwing punches. Mm -hmm. And there are a few that don't look so good. I, I remember one cowboy, I forget his name, but he was throwing punches from out here, you know, like a, like a woman throwing a baseball or something. <laughs> uh, it looks so, uh, so bad to, uh, to someone who likes fighting. Sometimes that's just a matter of uh, where the camera is, you know, it's all done by camera angle. Maybe your audience would be interested in seeing uh, uh, how we do that. I'm what sure they I'm sure they would now, Frank. Will you play straight for me? I will. If I show you? All, All right. right. Uh, can we... Let's get up. Right. I'll show you what I mean. Now, the pictures. The camera's over there. Now, you're here. And I have to win this. All right? I'll show you what it looks like. Ready? Me? Now, let me show you how fakey that is. Now, let's show them. Ready? Miss you by a mile. I felt the breeze. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, Frank, now, well, let me just show you how we do it in, in the gym. Oh, no, thanks, Ross. <laughs> I'll do the acting, you do the fighting. Okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> See, Frank, that was real interesting, and I sure enjoyed it. Frank, um, what always interested me was uh, fellas like uh, Kirk Douglas, uh, Burt Lancaster, and John Wayne. They all look like such terrific he-men and real athletes. Uh, Kirk, of course, is a trained athlete. You know, he was a wrestler in college. Mm -hmm. he, it is an accident these fellows look like they do. You know, they're in very good shape and have to take very good care of themselves. Bert was a circus performer. He was a professional, I guess you call it trapeze yeah. and tumbler. Acrobat. And uh, you can believe it when you watch him, you yeah. know, because he, he walks like a cat. This he man is good. Very good on his feet. Tony Curtis. Yeah. I worked with those three fellows, so I, I know that firsthand. And they do a lot of their own stuff, and they're in... Uh, Excellent condition. They have to be. You know, some of this stuff, oh, a good-sized fight, you may spend half a day setting it up. Oh, is that right? Sure, and you, you rehearse it just like you do a ballet or a mm -hmm. dance, and it's done by the numbers. There's the bell for the main event. One of the bouts with a man who will command my respect forever. The one, the only, Joe Lewis. This is Joe's comeback fight with a much younger Rocky Marciano. Madison Square Garden, October 26th, 1951. Let me tell you about it, as I fought it. What a relief to get out of that dressing room. I'm on the left, Lewis on the right. Lewis, when I was a kid, I listened to his fights on radio. Now he's here to fight me. Tut Shaw talking to Commissioner Christenberry. Ringside is packed with big names. It's the biggest fight I've ever been at, and I'm in it. Let's get out there and put the bull on Joe. I waited in the dressing room tonight for two hours, and nobody could even talk. But you could almost hear me, I'm thinking. I'm fighting Lewis. It's way better fighting him than thinking about him. Don't give him room to punch. Close the distance. Press him. Let this guy get set at that range and he'll murder you. That's it. I said hello to him with my head then. Every time I get close, I'm going to bring it up at him. Hey, this isn't a card game. My big job is to make Lewis go back as much as I can. He's an old guy, and that's the only way to fight him. Keep backing him up. He's got to fall apart. Stay on him. Mm -hmm. 
way on. Stay under that right hand. Keep low and keep coming in at him. Don't take chances early with a guy who punches like this. do much on the inside. Give it to him good every time I get close. On the ropes again. Go to work. This is where you can slow him up. Come on. Real good right. Joe looks fine coming out of the corner. That's how to push him back. Let me loose so I can throw that right. There. Good left hook. Use it some more. He has that left out trying to pick off my rights. clip this guy's picture from the newspaper. Now I'm trying to flatten him. It's the strangest feeling in the world. For weeks, almost everybody's been saying, forget his name. He's an older man. right to the side. I'm slamming that left inside real good. Charlie Goldman, my trainer, was worried about this match. He thought Lewis might know too much for me. It was good Charlie was worried. He made sure I'd fight this guy close so he couldn't nail me easy. See me move Joe back? That's great. It's murder on your legs to keep stepping backwards. It's got to tire him badly. That's all I want to do now. Get him tired. I know what to do after that. Can't do much more this round. This is ESPN Classic. I can get to him with rights. In the corner, Colombo keeps saying, you could always hit Lewis with a right, get under the left, then throw the right. You can get him with uppercuts, too. Keep his left busy. Don't let him hit you with a good shot. What does he think I'm doing? Playing target practice? There's that uppercut.
got it in again. There. It's different when you're low. That's the only way to fight this guy. He's got the reach, so there's no way to box him. I keep coming in with those shoulders. I block with him, then I punch inside his hands. That gets me in close where I can push him back. Higher him out. That's no good. How long can you play with dynamite? Now I've got him going back. Got to keep it up. If Lewis gets me in the middle of the ring, again, I may not remember it. Introducing the new Encore Movie Channel. Now you'll get recent. This is ESPN Classic. Now, at this point, Rocky, I'm interested. What, did you have any idea how you stood or where you stood or what was going on in your head? No, Frank, I really couldn't tell you. I was only doing what I'd been trained to do, trying to follow instructions. He hadn't hurt me up to this point, but there's a lot of fight to come yet. The only thing between me and a title shot is Lewis's body. I've got to get at it, wear him down. Good right to the side. Lewis is left, bangs into my ear every time I lift my head up. I'm learning the hard way. to the body. Keep it up. To get this fight, my manager guaranteed Lewis that I wasn't up to a real big fight. He just wanted to make a couple of dollars with me, and you know Lewis and money. So he went for it. Now I have the biggest chance of my life. Don't blow it. Push him back a little easier now. He's just a little... You know something? He hasn't put more than one punch together at a time. That's because I'm low. Remember that. Anybody who stands up straight with Lewis goes to bed in a hospital.
old school? If you can beat these guys, you know you're old school. This is ESPN Classic. Lewis is trying to get distance. He wants me a step and a half away from him. Don't let him do it, Rock. Stay on top of him. It's dropping. He wants to protect that side from the right hands. He may be hurt. is jabbing at my right hand. He wants to offset it. He must be worried about me. Get off on him. Take him apart. I know he's real tired. He's starting to stall here. This is the biggest chance of my life. Now let's do it right. I gotta set this guy up and really do the job. Yank on those arms. Pull them down. It'll ruin them. Get this guy on the ropes right away. I'm gonna stay on him and tangle with him. He's got to go. You can feel he's shot. Keep him there. Good right, but don't go crazy with the punch. The left hook can do it too. Just keep throwing both hands. Terrific hook. I'm in a neutral corner and I'm going crazy. I want to hit him more, but I've got to wait for him to get up. He's shot. Get him, Rock. says it's over. He won't even bother to count. And all of a sudden, kill this guy a second ago. Now I'm starting to cry. Everybody in the garden is looking at Lewis. They all feel terrible. That's Joe Lewis on the floor. Look at him down there. Joe Lewis. And he's helpless. This was one great guy. And I had to be the man to finally put him away. Doc Nadiello was working on him. Is he all right? Yes, he is. Lewis says, you ever are Southpaw Marciano? They never mentioned your left hand. He's kidding me about the left that knocked him out. What a guy this is. Rock, I, I gotta ask you, how does it feel to stand in the ring and know that now you're eligible to fight for the heavyweight championship of the world? It's a great feeling, Frank. It's something you shoot for, something I had been looking toward getting, and I was happy to know that now I couldn't be denied. But it was a sad moment, too, when I looked at Joe Lewis, defeated in his corner, and looking down into the crowd and watching his fans cheer him, still cheer him wildly. They were really loyal guys and uh, for a great guy. And uh, seeing Joe, the great Joe Lewis defeated 
ending up his career that way, I think at that moment it might have influenced me in retiring maybe a year before I would. You mean knowing when to get off? We have an axiom in show business. Anybody can get on. It takes a pro to get off. Frank, in the acting world, you're a main eventer. You've gone the long road. You've kept punching and made it. This pair of golden gloves are a little reminder to all of my guests to keep punching, to stay there. Thank you very much, Rocky. I, I, I'll treasure this. I really mean that. The bigger they are, the nicer they are. If ever a small town boy has learned to be grateful, it's me. For I've learned that even a lucky punch can take you out of the main event. So keep your guard up, hands high, and keep punching. <laughs>